So as a couple weeks ago, I published a video about three things you can do to make more money in the year ahead. And the third tip, which was to pitch your services, let people know that you're a food photographer and try to get hired, was the one that I said, there's quite a few of you out there who won't do this. So I hope you're out there proving me wrong and that you're chasing those no's and pitching your services. But there were definitely a couple folks who wrote in and said, hey, how do I find the contact of the person I'm supposed to email? Because I said, don't just send it to hello at whatever.com. That's not going to go anywhere. Send it directly to the person that can hire you. And so you're like, how do I find that person? Well, we have the internet and I have some solutions for you. So that's what we're going to get into in this video. What's shaking bacon? I'm Joni Simon. Welcome to my studio. This is where I do food photography. And the goal here is to improve your food photography skills so you feel confident behind the camera. And like I mentioned today, we're jumping into the business side of things. And I'm going to share with you the process that I go through when I'm trying to pitch somebody or connect with somebody how to find an email address. And it's actually, it's not hard, right? We've got so much information right at our fingertips free of charge. Thanks to Google. I'm going to show you how I do it. But before we get Get there. I am super excited to share with you that today's video is sponsored by FlashFilmAcademy.com. FlashFilmAcademy.com is an online learning platform with specialized business courses that are designed to help you monetize your passion for photography. Their YouTube channel and website is devoted to the business side of photography and video. And your instructor, the founder of Flash Film Academy, Ty Turner, he is a master at business and marketing and a skilled communicator and teacher. Flash Film Academy provides free courses and contracts as well as paid courses for those who are serious about making a living as a photographer. And that goes for the content creators out there too. They have contracts for you too, designed by content creators for content creators. And they've just released their master course from Passion to Profit, Content Creator's Guide to Create Your Business. Now this course is the first of a three-part series designed to teach you how to go from having the idea to having a fully functional photography business while avoiding those outdated business models and methods. This is business education for 2021 and beyond. And so for the price tag of a cheap lens, you can learn what it takes to build a business and then buy any lens that you want. Stop working for your camera and make your camera work for you. And fortunately for us, we've got a special 20% discount if you use the promo code THEBITESHOT at checkout. So be sure to head on over to flashfilmacademy.com. I've got all the information linked down down below. But with that, let's jump into the video. So the examples that I'm sharing today are if you are going after a business and you are going direct to that CMO, the chief marketing officer, or the VP of marketing, whoever is in charge of the overall marketing strategy and work that's happening at a company. Now, certainly company structures really vary depending on the size, depending on the way they do business. Maybe they're working with some advertising agencies. Maybe they've got a, you know, a third party PR company handling things. I mean, every business is different, but in my opinion, it never hurts to contact that person who internally works at the company who oversees all the marketing efforts. Now, certainly seeking out the advertising agencies that handle the advertising for a lot of companies, that's a wonderful strategy, especially if you want to really specialize in that advertising side of the equation. And then if you're looking to go after editorial work, so like magazines, well, that information is a little easier to find because you just open up the magazine magazine, look for the masthead, and pretty much the whole art department is listed there. And so you can go ahead and contact those folks. Now, as far as how to find those email addresses, you can go through the same exact process that I'm going to share with you here in just a moment. And as a caveat, I really had to kind of debate how to do this video because I was like, I don't want to like take you down the rabbit hole and then like share one person's email address with the whole internet. Like even though you can totally find this information, I feel like publishing a CMO's email address in a video that thousands of people will watch will not be the most helpful thing. So I'm going to pull from a lot of different companies and examples, and then you go down whatever rabbit holes you want to. But the very first place that I always start is checking out the company's website, right? So I've got my list of different companies that I want to work with that I think I would be a great photographer for, and I go to their website. So one of my favorite brands, like just as far as like something that I consume on the regular and I love is Harney and Sons Tea. So if I go to Harney and Sons Tea, kaboom, takes me straight into their website. 
there we are. And so we can check out their website. If you haven't done your research on the company, I highly recommend that. You know, if they've got an about section where you can learn about the company history, you can learn about what they do, what they specialize in. This can be really helpful things so that when you're communicating with them later, it shows, oh, you know what you're talking about. You're not just like randomly sending a stock email to people. So you can check out all of their stuff. And then usually I'll go down to the bottom because there may be contact information, right? And go into the contact page. Now, we don't want to email this customer service at harneytees.com, right? Because that's just going to sit in an inbox. It's not to a particular person. But their website is a great place to start to gather information. Some websites will also include like an our team section, which is incredibly helpful, right? Like they'll say, here's the VP of marketing and here's the you know person in charge of finance and here's this person and this person and so then you've already got a name that's really simplified things for you but other websites they really lock down that information so it just all depends but don't be afraid if you get to the website and you can't find any contact information never fear we've got other resources so then my next step is just to do a general google search on the company and see what else comes up so let's use a different example there's a sauce that i love is bitchin sauce company let's see what comes up that's the sauce that's them right there there's their home page and then if we just go down you know we might be able to see what are some other links helpful information for example sometimes like the person who's the founder there might be different articles about them so you can get to know who's in charge of this place what's their story what's their behind the scenes because a lot of times that'll help you just again connect with them better because you're more well informed about maybe the way they do business we've got Star Edwards here from Bitch and Sauce. Star, you do make a Bitch and Sauce. I personally love it, but you can read more about them. And that's helpful information. Another thing that you might find in the Google search is that they've been recognized by a trade organization or trade magazine. So, for example, we see the SpecialtyFood.com, Specialty Food Association. It's a big association here in the U.S. that represents all sorts of specialty food products, helping them get placed and connected with buyers and on store shelves. So we can go, for example, to this link right here and we can see this, you know, here's one of their products. Here's some contact information. Maybe there's more contact information here, a marketing contact. So just going through all these different links, doing some research, all of this is both helping you just to get to know the brand better, get to know what they're into better so that you're more prepared if you do have a conversation with them, but also just kind of keeping on the lookout for email addresses and most importantly, names of people in that organization organization, specifically in the marketing department. So now after I've done my Google searches, I've checked out their website, maybe you've got a couple names at this point, but you're not sure what those people do, or you have names, but you don't have email addresses, or you don't have any names at all, and you're just trying to, you know, find who am I supposed to contact? LinkedIn can be an incredibly helpful resource. So if we hop on over here to LinkedIn, and let's pull another example, T Forte. I love T Forte. Do you love T Forte? Are you familiar? They got great tea. Very fancy. <laughs> so we come over here to T Forte and we can see we, they've got their own landing page, which a lot of businesses will do. And then we can go into the people tab. And this is where we can look and see who is working at T Forte. Super duper helpful. So you can get all of the information about the people who work there through simply going over to LinkedIn. Now, maybe you're like, Joni, this would be a lot easier just to start on LinkedIn to get the contacts. But I would say it is helpful to go to their website just to do that research to know the background because so much of what I think can set you apart as a food photographer and really help connect you to clients is in getting to know them, building a personal relationship. And so having information, getting to know them through their website is incredibly powerful and helpful. Now, one of the things that I'm gonna tell you too, like for example, you know, looking at T Forte, we can see that they've got professional photography on their website. And maybe you're thinking, oh, well, clearly they don't need a photographer. And I would say, don't, don't don't do that. Don't have that attitude, right? Absolutely everybody in this day and age needs a photographer. Some companies need multiple photographers or different photographers who do different things. You know, maybe this person does the on white background stuff and this person does the social media stuff and this person does the video stuff. Well, unless you're the person who can do all those things then maybe you do all those things. But regardless too, you just never know how things are going to change. I love to tell the story of there is a local restaurant chain here in Phoenix that 
I had assumed, oh, they'll never hire me. The in-house photographer is already there, does beautiful work. They'll do great work and you know why they won't ever need me. So why pitch them? Well, at a certain point, that photographer moves on or there's a day when that photographer gets sick or something happens and they need a photographer. It's going to be super helpful if you're the first person that they think of because you have pitched them, you've connected with them, you've made yourself known so that when they do need to hire a photographer, your name's the first one that comes to mind. So once we have a name, the rest is a lot easier. Once we know the first and last name of the person we want to reach, then we come on over to hunter.io and they have paid services. I've never used the paid stuff. I just use it for free. And you come on over here and type in the website of that company. So for example, if somebody was looking for my name, right? They were looking for my information. You go to the bite shot dot com find email addresses oh there we go we've got an email address and it says the most common pattern because you know companies they always do the same sort of like naming convention for email addresses so you can see at the biteshot.com they just use the first name right because hello party of one <laughs> so we can see too that there's seven different sources where that email address is referenced but of course they're like blocking it out because they want you to pay to get the whole email address which we don't need to do though right because we know the pattern is first at the biteshot.com so you take that person right we found a contact we found the name of the person through linkedin we put in that reverse engineer the email address and kaboom but now i do one more check just as cross-reference because it may Maybe hunter.io is not right, or maybe that person's been at the company a long time and has an email address that isn't per the naming convention that's typically used in the organization. So you can just do a little quick cross-reference by hopping over to Google and Googling that email address and seeing if it comes up. Like for example, I was researching a company that I wanted to pitch recently and I, I put together, you know, through this method, figuring out what the email address was, but I was like, I just want to make sure it's accurate. So I Googled that person's email address and sure enough it popped up in these other websites these other places it actually popped up on Twitter as like if you won this contest contact this person's email address and I'm like I know that is a correct email address kind of that validation through Google but now of course here comes the hard part right is you actually have to email them don't just do all the research and then not contact them don't chicken out right be brave be courageous you can do this if you go back to that previous video I'll be sure to link it down below I've got a sample script for you there. You make it your own, you contact them. Don't overthink it. These are human beings, just like you're a human being, right? Just connect with them, contact them. If they say no, great. You are that much closer to getting your 99 no's on the road to getting those yeses. And so hopefully this has given you some ideas. Hopefully it's put some fire in your belly. Go out there and contact people, pitch your services. Once again, a huge thank you to Ty Turner over at Flash Film Academy for sponsoring sponsoring this video, check them out in the links down below. But with that, you have a fantastic day. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye.